all of you once again to my youtube channel today topic is instrumentation of inx chromatography so let's go to the video so this is the schematic diagram of instrumentation of inx chromatography it contains variety of parts variety of components namely lu tent reservoir pump this pump contains two important parts this is the pumping area this is digital controlling area third part is injector guard column column suppressor and trace detector and data processing unit this is collectively called components of inagent chromatography okay started with the lu tent you know very well we are using uh, extremely a variety of pH ranges of LU tent. So this reservoir is exactly made up of stainless steel. Instead of stainless steel, sometimes made up of glass, sometimes made up of polyester, ester, keto, or PEK is material. So why we are using these material means we are preventing the uh, erosion of um, the LU tent surface. Okay, so from here, the elutants are uh, pumped to uh, here. The pumps are to deliver the uh, elutant to the injector and the guard column and column the detector. Yes, so this elutant uh, is more important uh, because we are changing the pH uh, during the time of INX chromatography. Okay, second thing is pump pump is more important uh, because this is the only uh, device to pump the elutant from the reservoir to injector at guard column or column okay the pump was controlled by digital unit uh, what kind of pressure we have and what um, volume of elutant we have uh, time of using so all all the uh, parameters are controlled by this control unit okay okay second thing is the pump the pump are widely uh, used for the ionization chromatography for maintaining the flow rate of elutant to the injector the column okay the constant flow pump are most widely used for the ion exchange chromatography we because we are maintaining the flow rate yes and also we are using gradient elute likewise the constant flow pump divided into two types one is reciprocal pistol pump second one is dual pistol pump these two pumps are to maintain the constant flow rate but in different rate how means uh, in concern with the reciprocating pistol pump, this pump to maintain the flow rate using the piston rotation, the piston rotation and also during the piston rotation, its intake huge amount of elutant and the followed by uh, intake, the entire elutant uh, subjected to injector. So the pulse rate is uh, more increased in the reciprocating pistol pump compared to the dual pistol pump this provide a constant almost pulse free flow so uh, dual pistol pump have more efficient than the reciprocal pistol pump this dual pistol pump will take the elutant at the constant rate without uh, pistol rotation so uh, those rate of flow of elutant and the piston rotation always controlled by the electronic system okay for example the reciprocal pumping will deliver the elutant to the column by 0.012 10 ml of elutant per minute compared to the dual pistol pump it's delivered 0.01 ml to per minute so this dual pumping 
the dual crystal pump have more efficient than the other pump system third one is injector the injector to inject the sample are eluted to the column okay the sample and eluted to the guard column uh, is controlled by microprocess so the modern ionic change chromatography used micro sampling injector valve yes this injector valve to inject the 0.1 ml to 100 ml of volume of sample as well as eluted at the time of injection okay the injector was controlled with high pressure for example uh, this injector used to 4000 psi yes this 4000 psi is essential for inject the sample or eluted to the guard column okay by this uh, injector to do the two important things one is without blockage of sample and without blockage of the eluted so uh, this injector to maintain to avoid the blockage of a sample and eluted uh, and also it works on the uh, basically on the micro processor fourth one is guard column the guard column is placed before the uh, actual column and also this is serve as a protective factor that prolong that life and usefulness of the separating column yes this is the model column or uh, guard column uh, which control the rate of flow the sample eluted and uh, product the stationary phase they are dependable of the column it designed to filter remove the particles or unwanted things present in the eluted and the sample yes this is called collectively called baseline drift baseline drift baseline drift otherwise called uh, which control the uh, rate of flow or uh, rate of sensitivity and blockage and other uh, impurities so these are collectively called baseline drift the process uh, will do the guard column is yes. next one is column this is actual column the column contains stationary phase uh, on the based on the cation anion exchange the principle of ion exchange chromatography is that charged molecules binds electronically and oppositely charged groups that have been bounded covalently on the matrix ion exchange chromatography is a type of adsorption chromatography so that the charged molecules absorb to the ion exchange reversibly so the molecules can be bounded or eluted by changing ionic environment ion exchanger can be used in the column chromatography to separate the molecule according to their charge okay actually actually the column will do very important functions for separation of the molecule based on the charge density and charge distribution and the size of the molecule and ion exchanger is usually three dimensional network or matrix that contains covalently linked to the charge group the column containing stationary phase if a group is negatively charged it will exchange the positive ion and it's a cationic change for example if you are using cation exchange is called carboxymethyl group however if a group of positively charged that will exchange the negative ions and is an anion exchange as example diethyl aminoethyl group or cellulose or agarose or dextran and these are the stationary phase which we are using at the time of exchange okay the separation on a ion exchanger is usually accomplished by two stages two 
stages. One is first the substance is to be separated bound to the stationary phase, bound to the stationary phase using the condition that give a stable or tight bounding to the stationary phase of the column. Followed by inject the elute, elutant, the eluted sample along with the buffer with the different pH. Yes. Followed by uh, the pH solution will change the ionic strength or composition of the component of the buffer to completely elute the bounded molecule from the column. Next one is suppressor. Suppressor is a unique component of the ionic exchange chromatography which play the important role and avoiding for the um, resolution of the results. How means this uh, suppressor is a membrane based device. Membrane based device. It's allow only the eluted. It's allow only the eluted. Suppose the elute, elution uh, or elutant contains maybe different charges of uh, groups. For example, it contains sample plus some elute. So, along with the elutant, the sample, uh, the sample easily separate by the suppressor. How means the suppressor will act as a membrane only allow the sample, only allow the sample and uh, filter the elutant, elutant containing uh, different charges. Yes. Um, this suppressor also reduce the background conductivity of the chemicals or eluted uh, sample containing ion exchanges. Yes. And also this provide a good result for us. For example, um, if you are using weakly acidic Analyte. Suppose if you are using weakly acidic analyte or anionic in the presence of the high pH eluted. So used this anionic exchanger. So this time the suppressor will protonate something to the elutant and neutralize the high pH eluted. Similarly, when we are using weakly basic analyte, weakly basic analyte was separated by the cation exchanger with the low pH elutant, the time the suppressor will deprotonate the elutant ions uh, and neutralize the uh, those molecules only to allow the our charged sample molecules to the detector. Yes. Last one is the detector. The detector is more important um, because it can easily find out the what type of molecule eluted at the time. Yes, the detector basically divided in two types. One is analytic detector and proprietary detector for the time of molecule separation according to their purpose. Okay, the ideal detectors should have the following properties. What is first one is low drift of uh, sample and also reduce the noise level and high sensitivity and fast response on wide range of uh, sample detection and dynamic uh, range detection, uh, low bed volume and also low cell design uh, and also separate the different type of components according to their charge. At the time of uh, given temperature also. So these are the ideal properties uh, which need for the uh, detector. Uh, we are select the detectors. Okay. Nearly four basic type of detectors are employed. One is electrical conductivity detector. Second one is amphotic detection. Third one is mass spectroscopy detection. Fourth one is detector sensitivity instrument. So among these four, the electrical conductivity detector is more uh, commonly used for the ion exchange chromatography. Because we are separate the ionic uh, based separation. 
okay for this electrical conductive detector uh, have two electrodes two electrodes if the sample may be uh, collected in the uh, collection tube followed by the detector the detector will uh, sense the ion ionic sense whether it's pass whether it's positive or negative okay according to their uh, charges uh, the electrodes will receive the um, conductivity those conductivity after that get amplified amplified finally produce the uh, entire charge of the molecule entire charge of the molecule based on the uh, molecule eluted at the time finally the peak value uh, to convert it into out of balance out of balance method uh, finally we draw the graph and identify the what type of molecules or what type of charge molecule eluted at the time of elution yes this entire process was controlled by the uh, computer system okay